In this video, I'm going to show you how we made the game Excel Tower Defense. And if you haven't seen the video that shows you how to play this game, I do recommend that you check that out first. You can actually download this file and play it yourself. You just want to make sure though that you have Excel 2010 because this spreadsheet does use a lot of features that are new to the latest version and it won't work in an earlier version. So one of the first things that you might notice when you play this game is that there's a lot of animation going on. There are these creeps which are moving along the path toward the castle. And when you build a tower, the bullets are attacking the creeps in a very smoothly animated fashion. So the secret behind how we did this was that there is actually a transparent scatter chart overlaid on top of this whole screen. And in this scatter chart, the creeps, which are the red diamonds, are one series, and the bullets, which are the black X's, are another series of data. And this data is being recalculated and refreshed at a very fast rate. And it's being recalculated based on a number of factors, for example, the path of the map, the location of the castle, and the game clock. So behind this game are actually a bunch of cells, and behind each cell is a number. And you can't see these numbers because we made them invisible, uh, but I went ahead and took a screenshot while I was in the middle of playing a game. And then I overlaid the numbers that were behind the cells so that you can get a closer look. And so what we're doing here is we're taking advantage of conditional formatting. And let me show you where you can find this conditional formatting. So under the Home tab, I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting here, and then go to Manage Rules. And so that's where you can see the conditional formatting rules that we've put into place. So here we've got the brown, which shows the path of the map. Um, and then we have these built-in icons into Excel. And so the flags show the castle life. Green is when you have three lives left, yellow when you have two, and red when you have one. Here are the icons for the advanced tower and the basic tower. Uh, and every time you upgrade your tower, you do get more blue in the icon. And finally, we have the graded color scale. And that is when you are placing the tower, it shows you a heat map of the range of the tower. So now that you understand the rules, let's go back to that screenshot overlay so that you can get a better idea of it. Uh, now you can see that the brown path is represented by a negative one. Um, the regular game screen is a zero. And then here we have the towers, which are negative 21, negative 23, and negative 32, just depending on the upgrade state. And finally, we've got this castle, which has three lives, represented by a negative 13. There's a couple of bells and whistles to this spreadsheet, too. Um, we can change the settings. For example, I can change this to a map of Excel or this wiggle line chart right here. Uh, I can change the difficulty level and I can also change it to pick Latin. So these controls are actually a new feature in Excel 2010 called slicers. And you can find a slicer under the insert tab right here. It says slicer. And slicers are actually meant to be visual filters that you place on top of pivot tables. Uh, but they're very versatile, and in this case, we're using them to create game settings. Another cool thing about this game is when you play it, you'll notice that there is this line here at the bottom, and that is a spark line. So spark lines actually weren't meant to be animated. We animated them with a couple of tricks. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with spark lines, which are new to 2010, I'm going to show you a brief demo just so you know what I'm talking about. So I've created this fictional data here about some bake sale. Um, I've got cookies, cakes, muffins, and the number that I've sold throughout the week. And so if I want to create a spark line, I would go ahead and select this data. And I'm going to go into the Insert tab and then click on the Spark Line line right here. I want to put my spark lines right here. And spark lines are mini charts. And so I'm visualizing this data here in this very small cell. And so this isn't animated. And the way that we animated the spark line in the game is that we repopulated the source of the data over and over again very, very quickly to create that animated effect. So there you have it. 
uh, how tower defense is made, go ahead and download the file yourself and try it out. Have fun.